So Take yeah. the floor, Laura. All right. So questions are not over for Dean. We promise you no more questions for, for this week. Um, but as he promised, um, we do actually have a two special surprises uh, coming on uh, this week. Uh, the first up, um, how can I put it? He's a spoken word artist. Um, he won the UK Entertainment Best Poet winner. Um, he's a brand ambassador and founder of many others. Um, I'm going to put his uh, Instagram handle in the chat once he starts commencing. Um, but please put your emoji hands together, start clicking, start clapping in the air uh, for Mr. Terrell Lewis. Hey, people. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how are we all doing? Good. Very well. Good. Good. So, um, wow, we are in very unprecedented times. Right? Are we good? Is he there? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Okay, cool. Yeah, so we are all in unprecedented times right now. And the message that I'm about to share with you guys will pretty much explain it. Um, right now, this is going to be dedicated to the black men. This piece right now is called Rise Kings, and I hope you guys can enjoy it. And it goes like this. Let's rise, kings, for you are all amazing and incredible. Because you found a way in from a way out of a system that had you caged in, I look to you and say, let's rise, kings. You see, I want you all to be better than me. Through life's teachings and preachings, I'm going to teach you to teach those to expose their gifts and help them grow. Inevitably, as a race, we all grow. You see, I might I'm, be frozen as well. Because I am you, which means if I can do it, then you can too. Be loud to reach those who don't want to listen. Give sight to those who don't have the vision. Live free for those wrongfully imprisoning. Be the voice for those who can't make decisions. No longer is it me against you, now it's us against them. And I call upon all my fellow black men to put an end to the lies from which they stem. I commend you all if together we rise then we cannot fall. So let's rise, kings. Let's come together collectively and connectively, work together respectfully, irrespective of the damage that they've done intentionally. You see, we're all smarter than that, so let's move intellectually. You see, I need for you to understand your purpose, because what they told you, they told me, and they tell us that we're worthless, and they tell us these things to hurt us because we make them nervous. So let's rise, kings, because they don't deserve us. No more lies. I'm gonna spread nothing but the truth. And I happily die knowing this message inspired the black youth. The time, to come to, the, the time to come together is now and hold together like glue because the journey we're all on requires a similar pair of shoes. It's so hard growing up in this world as a black man. Anything I do or say, they want to attack, man. They're the predator and we're the prey. That's a matter of fact, fam. So let's clear the air between us because I got your back, fam. Now, when I see you, I'm going to embrace you because society's trying to erase you. Just for being black at work is another reason for them to try and replace you. You see, I love you, and they hate you. The fact is, they don't even rate you. They brainwash you so much that you start to hate you. Now, by killing me, you're only killing yourself. Another black man that will never excel. They want to put the black man in the jail. The cycle continues. Blacks never prevail. Well, today, that cycle gets broken. Third eye open. Those of you that were asleep now have awoken. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Pass his message on to all black men about the words I have spoken. Now you work with me and I'll work with you. And together we'll create a positive image. We'll go to every ends, post, code and village. I'm talking about putting an end to stabbings and killings. Wiping the slate clean and have a new beginning. So let's rewrite our history. So again, black men start winning. So let's rise, kings. Thank you guys so much, man. <laughs> Jeez. Thank wow. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Terrell. Can everyone hear me? I can hear yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, wicked. Yes. Yeah, so I'm having technical difficulties today, but I've seen a lot of people are saying um well done and clapping in the comments and stuff. Um I know that Terrell the other day, obviously you went down to some of the protests and ended up um sorry, the, the protest in Portsmouth and ended up performing yeah. um, just very, very <laughs> off the cuff. How, how, how yeah. was that? 
Um, so I got I got DM'd from a local resident just in regards to the information about the protest, and I was I was within a, a time window because I was actually working, so I'm currently working from home. So I literally went there with the intention of coming back. So I got the protest started at one o'clock. So when I got to the location, I started off at the very back, um, at the back of like where um, the crowd, and then as people's stories. As, you know, as people were telling their stories, I just kind of started to maneuver my way through the people. And then before I knew it, I ended up at the very front. Um, and then I found out who the organizer was. And I said, listen, I wanna, I wanna go on stage. Like, I was really just kind of like overwhelmed and inspired by all the stories. And then the next minute, the microphone was in my hand. And I was literally on right. stage in front of all of these people. And it was just one of those moments where it was so amazing and empowering, and I've never felt anything like that before. In all the performances that I've done, all of the, the, the public speaking that I've done, I've never felt anything like that to that, to that magnitude. So, um, and it was just literally just off the cuff, as you said, Dean. It wasn't planned. I just, I just went, and it, just, it, was just, it felt like a natural thing to do. Wow. And what was the response like? Oh, my phone hasn't stopped going. It's still going now. Like the, the pictures on my Instagram. So um, there was various different photographers that were there. The local paper, so the Daily Mail was there and Portsmouth local newspaper. Um, funny enough, I'm in the Portsmouth newspaper and I'm so, I was obviously I'm supposed to be at work. So I kind of hope my work doesn't see that, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But like, it, it was cool. And the images that have been captured, um, the, the latest one that I posted today is obviously just me and there's just like thousands and millions, thousands of people um, in front of me. Just, I'm part of a history because that's never, obviously this is the biggest movement since the civil rights movement, but for Portsmouth, the city itself, this has never been done. So it's nice to know that I'm part of a historic moment in, in Portsmouth, especially as a black man as well. So I'm, I'm definitely proud of that, man. Yeah. Jackie says, Jackie and then says, um, just told him it was on your lunch break. Yeah, that, like, I am. I am Jackie. I will. I will. <laughs> All right. Now, Terrell, Terrell, I know that you are um, definitely making a name for yourself out there right now. Yeah. Uh, but for everyone that um, is just kind of getting to know about Terrell Lewis, I've actually known this man since I was about 13, 14. I went to school with him. <laughs> um, he, had a, he had a big mouth back then. He's got a big mouth now. But yeah. he's, yeah. he's, using, he's using his mouth differently now. <laughs> He's not running yeah. his gums as much. Now he's actually, now he's um, giving a, an amazing message to, 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 to the whole world. And he's, he, he's building his career as a public speaker, as a poet, as a host, and as an entertainer also for weddings. So for anyone that's on this call right now, please contact Terrell to find out his availability for 2021, maybe even 2020. Um, he gets back to his, uh, if, you know, if you want to get in his DMs, he does respond. And um, yeah, he's he's available to chat basically. So thank you, for, uh, Charles Emeka, who's a very well-known MC in the industry, says, "Oh man, more competition." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's no competition. I'm I'm here to elevate, man. I'm here to elevate and work. There's there's co collaborations. There's no competition there. There's plenty of room for us, all all of us to excel. All right, lovely. And just before we introduce our next performer, Terrell, just give us your final final words of what you want to say about. What's going on now? Um, the industry, anything, anything. Um, in closing, I, I was listening to um, George the poet. He had an interview. He was on Instagram Live yesterday on um, on the mobiles on the mobile channel. And one thing that kind of stood out for me was, as a people, as an individual, we all have a duty to represent our race, to help change the narrative of you know, of our people and how we're perceived in society. So definitely that, that obviously resonated with myself. Um, and I definitely just want to extend that message to you guys and to everybody that's on this call. As your duty, it is, it is your duty as a black person, definitely with everything that's going on to just, obviously you're representing yourself, but you are, you are also representing our culture. So just conduct yourself in any kind of positive manner and just represent us positively just to help change the narrative and how we are perceived 
um, by society and the public. And that's, that's literally it. That's all, all right, thank you, Tyrone, man. Once again, thank you, everyone that's on this call. Please. Thank you, guys, man. Round of applause. Thanks for joining us today. And no we're gonna see this. you, we're gonna see you in the real world at a real event very, very one soon. Day. Very soon. Yeah. Exactly. Nice one, sir.